So Danielle, please go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us about your journey that got you here to KPNG. I'm Danielle Beringer. I'm a partner in our data modernization practice. I focus on enterprise data strategy and AI strategy, data products and marketplaces, and support for chief data officers. Prior to KPMG, I was the chief data officer at a Fortune 500 OEM, focused on innovation, enterprise architecture, and cloud. And I was a KPMG client working on innovative solutions together. Let's talk about the foundational role of data in AI. It's absolutely essential, particularly now with generative AI, that organizations collectively look at data as a strategic asset, take some of the foundational steps towards governance and data certification to ultimately create a ecosystem where trusted data truly is there as the prerequisite and starter for effective AI. I know that there are some companies that struggle with getting the business team and the technology team to work together well when it comes to data products. How important is that? How do you resolve that conflict? Data is a team sport. And so when we look at data products that are a way for people to have solutions and innovation, it really is a new interaction model. We're rethinking the way that people are curating data, the people who are involved in the certification process. And it's a very powerful way to really bring business stakeholders into that entire life cycle in an entirely new fashion. They have responsibilities towards ensuring the data is trusted. And that way, IT can be assured that when they partner together, they can produce high quality data products at a faster rate and ultimately hit those value trajectories they were hoping for. So different people within a company need different things from the data. The CEO wants one thing, the data scientist needs something else. Why does that matter? Persona-based design is one of the most fundamental ways that we assist our clients. And that means for the C-suite, for middle management, for data scientists, data analysts, or engineers that are in technology roles. We have to make sure that the capability to support them is enabled. We need them to be working together synergistically, and that's why that centering of education, enablement, is absolutely critical for each persona at hand. Some of the things that you described are not things that can be measured on a spreadsheet. And obviously, the boss wants to see, why am I investing in this? How do you really understand and see the value, the reason that you need to be investing in data? We've initiated a really important focus, and we call it our data value chain. And the reason we did that a few years ago is we noticed in order to really make a business case to pursue innovation with data, we needed a way to do the math on the value levers. When I say value levers, I'm referring to, are we trying to do a cost takeout? Are we reducing risk? Are we improving operational efficiency? What is the outcome we want? Do we have the value trajectory we need? And it's really important, especially when these are high cost, high resource intensive investments. So the data value pools and the data value levers should become the new language with which the business and IT are collaborating together. All right, Danielle, thank you very much. Thank you so much.